Yes, it's a nice, really nice breeze right now, so hopefully it's not too windy in the video, but uh, it's kind of like a, a walkway there. It just kind of signifies uh, people doing yoga and things, I think, so let me see if I can get over that one. so good. Uh, anyway, there's a giant fish, also known as Pla, here in Thailand. One of the uh, alphabet characters is Pa Pla, which is fish. And this is the uh, fish here but uh, I'm not gonna go all the way in because they're doing some construction here so I'll just stay on the outside I really like this building, very cool. Let's see, very ornate. And then like I said, it's surrounded by the, uh, kind of the yoga thing, and then they have the, the water statue, it's kind of cool. Temple, Chinese Chinese temple. Such beautiful buildings they have. Really, really like really like the buildings. Yeah. Buddha. And such cool pictures and artwork. and things that tell the story and, and all that for uh, the Chinese they use that. I don't know if you can kind of tell the size of this uh, koi. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That thing is uh, probably about two foot long. It's, it's a big, uh, probably the biggest koi that I've seen. There's tons of huge fish in this pond here. There he is. Very big fish. Cool little area. This is the floating market. I'll walk around a little bit, just taking a little break, sitting here. shop over here on this side. But nice little view, nice little breeze coming through and then they have a shop here you can buy hats and things like that. But it uh, doesn't get much better than this. So this is 
is the uh, the old floating market here at the ancient city. It's kind of the well, it's not kind of. It's exactly the same as the other floating markets I've gone to. It's you know, it's, it's showing example. They don't obviously do it here anymore, but um, this is uh, this is where it used to be when they used to do these. Uh, they still have shops and things, but it's more of a tourist thing now just to show you, but they don't have the boats floating around and all that. In the water, they just have the city showing that uh, that's pretty much it. All right, mom, this is uh, <laughs> just for you. In the ancient city, look at that. Christian church. They have see there you go. See oh, actually it looks more like a Catholic thing I think, but the uh, all hope is not lost, mother. <laughs> I love you. Um, there's a sign there. Love one another. So there you go. Even in the ancient city, angels. pews and things there. That's where I came in from the back. Another sign here. Love one another as I have always loved you. So there you go. The uh, Christian church in the ancient city. This is a confessional, so they like so this must be a Catholic Catholic thing. Alright, there you go. So this is the uh, the outside of the church I was just in. And then you can see that the, the makeshift floating market is still here. They're still small, you know, they still have the boats, the concept, just so people have there's food and uh, and souvenirs and stuff like that. So they're there is some some stuff that you can still do, but it's not definitely not a regular floating market. Like you now, it has the boats going around taking you to all the different places. You can just kind of walk, walk here, and uh, walk around the path and see all the different sites. Pretty cool. And there's some food. Kwe Tiao, which is noodles. Nam, Kwe Tiao Nam, which is uh, noodle soup and then uh, souvenirs and restaurants and stuff pretty cool so here's the uh, a bridge going over the uh, top of the water here where all the little restaurants and souvenir shops and stuff are pretty nice little view nice breeze it's about 95 today 34 degrees uh, Celsius so you can see the there's the church, and then all the little souvenir shops and stuff. Pretty cool. So this is a uh, Chinese and Thai together. Some Chinese and some Thai. But you can see there's lots of pictures. Buddha. So this is the uh, 
an old temple and it was actually taken apart in northern Thailand and brought down here and assembled at the uh, ancient city. So this is a, uh, an old, old temple from the north, northern Thailand. Very dark wood and as usual, you know, wood keeps it cooler. Natural resources are available. And I'll go inside and check it out. Watch my head. Pretty much open. And people would come and assemble and Asian cultures, they pretty much sit on the floor. So that's why there's no chairs and things in here. And you hit the, the bell basically means uh, wishing you, you know, good luck, safe. And, uh, the Buddha images and things where you'd come and kneel down here on the, on the carpet and do your praying. Ring, ring the bell there. You see very uh, cool ceiling, very ornate gems and glass. And, uh, very nice 